What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and a lot of you all are basically uh, well, how can I put this? You guys are I don't want to say misled or blindfolded or none of those things. <laughs> but Things have not been going, the winds of change have not been blowing in the right direction. And what, what that means and what that translates to is the fact that you guys have been talking about Megan Thee Stallion signing with Rock Nation and Jay-Z. And Jay Prince is upset. And you got to talk about it and what's going on. They stole Megan. From, uh, what's his name, uh, Mr. Crawford from Fifth Ward, uh, Carl and them, they took Megan from him, then that's low down, how she gonna do that, she betrayed him, man, that's what they do, this business is crooked, cause after Megan put out the statement that she was, um, that she was, uh, actually going that way, in that, you know, direction, Jay Prince had put out a statement. And when Jay Prince put out a statement, everybody took it and went another way. He was like, yeah, the music business is a business filled with sharks and cutthroat people. So congratulations to the homie Carl Crawford. Owner of 1501 Records for breaking your artist, Megan the Stallion. Carl is from my hood, better known as the Fifth Wall, and I'm proud to be his new partner moving forward. Surprise to all that had plans on taking something from him. Good luck with that. This is just the beginning. Now, when you hear Mr. Prince give a message like that, you like, oh, no, that's it. He mad at Jay. See, that's what he get. And just two weeks ago, he was defending Jay. Now he going at Jay. You see what's happening here? Oh, my God. Calm down. Calm down. Please calm. Um, do you not understand what's happening here? Everybody's caught up in the sensationalism of it. We have not heard anything as to why this infraction happened or in this manner in which it happened. I'm quite sure they probably, if they're upset, they're probably upset in the, in the form of the way it happened. And it probably should have been done another way, and it probably would get worked out where a situation is feasible for both sides. So there's probably not going to be an issue at all. But what people need to understand is that this is business. Business and social media are two different things. <laughs> and what's happening here is going to happen behind closed doors. Somebody's going to get cut a check, and then everything's going to get done right. But in the future, moving forward, you know, things will be probably done in another fashion. I'm not saying they're mad at Jay-Z or Megan for even signing that contract with her going over there. She probably thought she was free to do it and probably was at a point in her career. I haven't seen her contract, so I wouldn't know. I can't tell you what she did was right or wrong. I, I have not seen it. A Megan the Stallion contract. So I couldn't tell you anything other than I can only give it to you guys straight. And in these situations, there's a lot of moving parts. You know, she also signed a deal with 300 Entertainment. So maybe it could be 300 Entertainment. There's a lot of moving parts here. So instead of jumping to conclusions, we need to all fall back and kind of let things play out first. And as you guys should know about me, then everybody else, I'm not itching to be the first guy out the box. 
I want to make sure you got the information correctly or as vastly as I can give it to you before I put it out. A lot of people jumped up right away and made a video. They don't even know what they're making a video about. It was, oh, man, he mad at Jay-Z. Let's go, run it. And they just run out with a story, tell it to you, and have nothing to really share. So it's not that I didn't get all you guys' messages. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the messages you guys have been sending in. I appreciate it. I really do. Because you don't have to do it. You know? I, I appreciate you guys sending me the videos or the, the clips and the messages saying, yo, you got to get up on it. I mean, somebody was up at 4, 5, and 6 in the morning talking about, yo, see no where you at? <laughs> We got to get that Jay-Z, man. You got to get up. You got to get out there. I'm like, dude, do you realize it's like 6 in the morning? <laughs> Shouldn't you be asleep somewhere? And I'm trying to creep out tonight and go take care of some business. Go out and enjoy myself. It's hot in this house. It's dark, <laughs> and the house is hot, and I'm not turning on the AC. No, I'm not, because it's crazy. It's crazy town. Now, everybody was upset with James Prince two weeks ago when he made a statement defending Jay-Z. So they attach all of this to Jay-Z. I mean, James Prince. Sorry about that. It's all they did. He came out and said, Jay-Z is not a sellout. I've known this brother for years. And being a sellout is something I've never witnessed. In all the years I've known him, it's important for us as people not to automatically go into hate mode before getting some overstanding beyond the understanding that you already have. I've interacted with Kaepernick personally and respect the kneel that he took for the cause of injustice. Anybody disrespecting this brother lacks the overstanding of the beginning of a movement. We all know as babies and as adults, we had to crawl before we could walk. So to paraphrase Jay-Z, the kneeling was good. Now it's time to walk and eventually we shall run. I guess to sum this all up, I'm saying is don't become one of those people who hates out of ignorance or hate just because another brother is prospering. I congratulate the homie Jay-Z and can't wait to witness the work he puts in. Now, When he made that statement, nobody else really made a move. Like, nobody jumped up and said, hey, man, what the hell? Except for the Haven. And all I put in was, I disagree. Because I explained my thoughts on the whole thing. But it wasn't about the movement. It was the way it was being put together. It was put together in a shysty, cutthroat type of way. That made people distrust the movement altogether. So they might have had a good purpose and principle around it. It's just it's submerged around so much, you know, darkness that people look down upon it. Then look up to it as a viable option. Now.
Let's move forward. Shall we? Now, as we move forward, let's look at the possibilities of the future for Megan Thee Stallion. They're going to want to do some work promoting Megan, possibly doing some uh, Super Bowl stuff with her um, coming up at the halftime of next year's uh, game. Now, they're going to have to make good with Cardi because Cardi didn't go and attend. She sided with Jay-Z and them and joined his protest and didn't join the NFL's movement last year. She sat out. Now, they don't have to make that right for her. So down the road, when Nikki comes back, then you can start looking at Nikki and, you know, the whole situation. When she have her baby, by the time she goes through this process, I mean, a baby that we don't even know exists yet because somebody tried to steal her thunder. You know, which I felt was petty that that person decided to go in that route, but What's done is done. Can't change nothing about it now. Now, as for Carl Crawford and his uh, 1501 entertainment, you know, that's a whole other thing altogether. Ain't quite sure he's going to bounce up back. You know, he's from Houston, Texas. This is what they do. Houston has always been this way. They've always fall down and bounce back on their feet. So, with that being said, I'm actually getting a message right now. Don't forget to support the page, man. Hit the Cash App up. The name is Carcino on the Cash App. And I got some videos coming that is going to make you guys say, damn, that was good. I got a part one and part two. I really like those videos. I'm just waiting on YouTube to approve them, and I can start rolling them out. Y'all would have had them out today. I'm just waiting on YouTube to do their thing. But these are the type of videos I like to make. So I hope you enjoy them. And, oh, yeah, you can hit the stream lab and donate to the page also. That's the link in the description box. You can click it down there. Your boy Carcino, I'm out.